Hey gang, it's Dan. I am here now in Vancouver, Canada. It is a beautiful day. It is May the 29th and I am unpacking the 6 robot arm. It has been sitting in a box for over a week after shipping it all the way down to San Mateo for the Bay Area Maker Fair 2018 and then shipped all the way back. And it spent 24 hours in the hands of United Airlines. So it should be really fun seeing how they've managed to test my packaging. And by unpacking it on camera, I'm gonna learn a few things about how to package it better for next time. Uh, unless we got really lucky and it shipped perfectly, in which case, sadly, we will have little to learn, but much to enjoy about the unboxing. So uh, join me, won't you? Here we go. You'll notice it says this side up. When I got to the airport to pick it up, it was on its side. This actually isn't terribly important. It's so that I know which way to take the top off. Now, this is only the, uh, this is only the robot half, the, the physical arm half of the assembly, the brain box was opened earlier and we got some pictures and Instagrams of that and you can find those on uh, instagram.com slash I make robots this is actually just two one by one foot boxes uh, stuck together I tried finding a, a one by one by two box and uh, they wanted an enormous amount on Amazon, so I said, no thank you. This is, uh, this is Instapack. See, uh, yeah, Instapack. Great stuff when you have to get around a weird shape and you need it to pack safely. I'm loving it. It's working out great. I hope you can see that. There's the 60. Oh, yep. Yeah. We're on camera there. Now back you up a little bit. Come on, big boy. Ooh. Oh, isn't that nice? They left me a certificate of inspection. Well, my immediate conclusion is that it broke in the exact same spot that it broke on the way down. So what lesson did I learn from this? Well, so far what I learned is that the bottom of the robot cannot, cannot sit against the bottom of the box when it's shipping. No part of the robot should actually touch the side of the box. Now, of course, if you think about the way your stereo is packed in a box and other devices, that's exactly what they do too. So yes, I guess the, it's more obvious why they do it the way they do it. Uh, uh, what does this mean? Uh, it means I'm going to put a piece of foam on the bottom of the box before I put the robot in uh, and the robot goes in before I put in the Instapack which then fills the rest of the space and with a little luck that should put get everything working together. So now I'm going to do two things. I'm going to reprint this base piece and I'm going to reassemble the electronics. You may remember in a previous Instagram that this bit was completely shattered when we opened it in the control box, in the brain box. 
And so we're trying to figure out a new way to make this so that it doesn't break in shipping. Uh, it actually made it on the trip down there. It's on the trip back that it got b bashed up. Uh, but it has to survive it, uh, at both trips at least, uh, for my own peace of mind. Uh, and so that other people can build the robot and then take it to a show. Uh, and, and, and so I have to reassemble the whole brain. And once I've reassembled the whole brain, then I can plug this back in again. And we can start doing the speed tests and the precision tests that we've been saying we would do. So I guess I'll leave you here for now. And we will talk more later.